Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mario Games. This is episode number 25 in my gameplay of Animal Crossing's New Horizons. Welcome, everybody. How's it going today? As we can see, we have D.Va here. Give us a little tour of the island. <laughs> Last night, I was uh, hitting, tree hitting trees. I was shaking trees, hitting rocks, and digging up fossils. And, of course, caught a lot of bugs and things like that. But let's get into it. I actually donated some things to Blathers as well, so if you want to see all the new stuff that was donated to Blathers, go check that out. The episode 24.5, okay? The episode in between episodes. Um, today, though, we have uh, an agenda of a few things. But first, we have a new um, resident moving in to the island. So, let's check him or her out. I'm not sure the name of the of the character is Nibbles. So it may or may not be a boy or a girl. I imagine it's a dog, but I have no actual idea if it is a dog or not. And what is taking so long? Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, here's Tom Nook. What do you have to say, Tom? Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 10.45 a.m. this happy Thursday, July 9th, 2020. Now for today's news. Eogima gained a new neighbor today. Nibbles. Okay, Nibbles. Hope you give her, ah, uh, her, lots of great advice about living here. Awesome. Now then, I have one more bit of information new, important, important news to wrap things up. It's so wonderful to see all the enthusiasm, enthusiasm for island life. Our population is certainly growing. Hmm. Eogima is becoming a rather bustling place. Yes, yes. Our goal, as always, is to provide you all with the top quality support you deserve, and so on. Please note. Resident Services will soon relocate from its current tent into a new permanent building. Ah, now it's going to re relocate. Okay, so, <laughs> as he claps. <laughs> it's a big move, and construction will take some time, so we will be closed tomorrow. Oh. Please check on lost items at the recycle box or use the Nook Stop today while it's available. Yes, yes? Okay, we'll have to do that first. That's all for me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Thank you, Tom. Okay, so that's what how it uh, progresses in the game in order to upgrade. I was just asking that question. How do we upgrade to the um, the new Tom Nook services? Oh, hello. My phone's ringing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this must be the bells that I get from Timmy and Tommy. Hello, this is Tommy from Nook's Cranny. We sent a payment to your bank account for 49704 bells for what you left in the drop-off box. Yep. Thank you for using the service. Hope to see you soon in the shop. In the shop soon. You will, indeed. We will check out that check that out because I always love seeing what's new there. But yeah, we caught a lot of bugs, caught a few fish, donated some fossils. Yeah, we got them. Uh, we got them assessed by Blathers, and we got a couple things extra from diving in the sea, and we sold those things as well. So um, let's see here. First things first is the mail system. Let's check what's going on. This is my Nook shopping, indeed, indeed. The portables, the portable record player. Okay. The straw hat. Okay. Hey, Biff. What's going on? KK Dirge. Okay. We'll register that. And bamboo grass. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Let's get out of there. Biff. What's going on, man? Good morning, Squirt. Getting an early start. Drop something. Uh, what now? Oh, that's right. We found a lost item last night in that episode. And I picked it up. And I was like, you know what? I'll just hold on to this. And that'll be one of the things we will do in today's episode. So let's see if it's Biff's. I'm pretty sure it's Divas because I saw her wandering around and had like she had a thought bubble or a worry bubble above her head and searching on the ground. So I'm pretty sure it's hers. But let me see. Let, let's let's play the game and see <laughs> if it's Biff's. Oh, sorry about this. Is but this is mine. I did see something like this at Chef's house last though. Oh really? Eh? So what was wrong with Diva the other day? Huh? Biff, what's up? Need something, Squirt? Uh, I wish I had a muscle to give to you. I will catch a muscle in the future, Biff. And I promise I will give it to you because you are the epitome of a workout buddy. So, <laughs> what's latest? Have you, met, have you met our new neighbor yet? I'm still trying to figure out how I want to say hi to them. I think instead of just saying hello, I'm going to tweak my jogging route so it spells out their name. What? What? How is that even possible? And who the heck is that? Oh, that's the, um, that's that dude, Harv, right? That's the dude Harv. Oh, and I have simple wooden fence. Definitely gonna get into that today too as well because I want to change up the look to my house. I'm tired of these uh, fake bushes on the side, so we will change that up for sure. Oh, it actually changes it up because so it's a placeholder. Oh, look at that. So this room, this is the window to the room we just expanded upon. So these bushes are actually placeholders for the next expansion room we have. Hmm. But I do want to play with the today's mailbox and roof maybe and design of the house so overall look of the outside house. So we'll get in that later. But um. Here we go. Let's check out all the stuff that I got last night. Lost item, you will go 
over here. Let me open up the things that we know. The portal record player. Yeah, we bought that yesterday. Okay, we'll put that in the music room. Straw hat, open that up. And I'll go ahead and wear that right now. Indeed, indeed. I'm Luffy from One Piece. <laughs> KK Dirge, we'll open that up. We'll register that. Uh, bamboo grass, open that up. And let's put that on the side of our house, actually. Place. Oh, wait, wait. Let me get out of here and put it right there. Place. Can I place it right there, please? Place item. Indeed. Awesome, awesome. We got to turn it, though. Turn. Turn. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, no, no, no. I can't go any farther to the right. So, I can go like that. I love it. I love it. The one one goes to the right, goes off to the right. One on the left, goes off to the left. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Well, let's check out um, the presents we got. So, a present. First present was... Pilot's uniform. Okay. Okay, let's put that on. Oh, hello. So that gets rid of our pants and everything. And very blue. Very, very, very blue. Okay. Let's open the next present. Tricycle. Ooh, we have one of these, don't we, in the, in the play area? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I like the color. It's like gray and black and white. So cool. So cool. We'll have to put that in the playground area. We have two more. We have another tricycle. Awesome. Open this up. What's this next present? It's going to be clay. Thank you. Oh, we got a... Oh, you know what I did? I donated the... Or donated. <laughs> I gave the... Uh, it was the walling and the flooring. I forget. I gave one of the two. Either the walling or the flooring that I had... The walling. The flooring or the wall paper that I had um, designed or not designed or found. Picked. Picked. The wallpaper or the flooring that I had picked in order to give to Diva and left it over by her house. I ended up giving it to her last night because, you know... She's a night owl, and I don't see her sometimes in the mornings, and I didn't know when I was going to court, record today. So I ended up giving her that uh, wallpaper or flooring. I think it was the wallpaper I gave her. And then in return, she gave me this dinner apron. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, <laughs> I'm like a shop clerk for sure. <laughs> okay, well, 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 we may or may not. Oh, a toilet. Okay, we need that for the bathroom. We'll go put that there in a second. Okay, what else is up? This is 5,000 bells. I will pocket that. Thank you very much. Uh, message in a bottle. Here's our message in a bottle we caught last night. Oh, there's a Darno Dragonfly right there. Ah, oh, anyways. To whomever... Wow, look at these jewels up here. Wow, fancy. To whomever this may be, I have grown weary of run-of-the-mill furniture, so I have designed DIY furniture recipe sure to inspire. I am compelled to share my recipe, so I have stuffed it in this bottle. May it inspire you to action with hopes, Portia. Fancy chick. Portia is a girl's name, right? So, modern wood wall. Let's learn that. Uh, okay. Let's check that out. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. And we got two pieces of furniture right here. Clothes closet and picnic basket from Shaken Trees last night. Um, I will definitely get use this picnic basket. What's this? Tricycle? Okay, we'll leave those two together because... And there is a blue bottle. And there's a Darna Dragonfly just, just tempting me right here. Look at him. Look at him taunting me. Tempting me, taunting me. He's taunting, tempting me. And he's just going to get away like that. Dang it. Oh, there's the first fossil right there. And who is that guy up there? That is definitely... Um, I think that's Harv, right? He's the guy that we go to his island or something like that. And we take pictures or something of all the residents. Anyways, I caught myself a bl uh, blue bottle. And let's see here. Dig up the first fossil of the day. Right by Biff's Laundry. <laughs> I got a fossil. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We will rearrange that and put that right next to our swimsuit. There we go. Um, toilet. We'll switch out for this common blue bottle, and we will pocket that. Um, do I want to wear this shop uniform, which Diva gave me, or do I want this pilot's uniform, which the game gave me? Um, I'm going to wear what Diva gave me, to be honest. Oh, I hear a present. But is it? I think it's coming from the right. From the winds of the right. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I was right. Okay, let's get this slingshot. No, no, no. Let's get this slingshot. And let's get that equipped and pop this bubble. Pop this balloon. And boom. Got it. Okay, good. Sweet. We got a new present right off the bat. Okay, let's check what this says. This is a retro radiator. Huh. A retro radiator. Let's actually see what it looks like here. Put it down the ground. I'm oh, you, you, you can't. Put it outside. Okay. All right. Well, fine. Let's go inside then. And let's see what we can see here. All right. All right. And if you guys notice, I actually rearranged and redecorated my room to look a little bit different. I got some new flooring from Sahara last night. I got a new rug here, this pink one, and this red and purple in, in one here. 
and um, the music room actually stayed the same, I think. <laughs> but I got rid of some of the stuff that was too cluttered in the room, and I uh, put it in storage because we have extra storage now. And I added a few things here and there. Oh, that's right. We got this mysterious flooring. This is, uh, what is this, a wrestling or a pro sport? A pro wrestling arena. A pro wrestling, pro wrestling flooring, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Anyways. Let's get in our pockets and put that uh, mattress back down. Where is this? Where, 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 where is that? Closed closet? No. Toilet? No. Picnic basket? No. Where? Oh, there it is. Right there. It looks like a rug. Maru, it looks like a rug. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Oh, I should have just left it in that mode. Um, let's go back to our pockets. And let's see. Retro radiator. Where does that go? Can I put it? Okay. Yeah, put it on the... On the... On the... On the okay. That's... um. You know what? I'm going to put that... Can I change the angle? I want to put that right by the window. Because I feel like that's something that goes right by the window. Because that's like an air conditioning thing, right? You know what? Or maybe I'll put it in the corner behind the plant. Because you always use the plants to hide stuff that you don't want. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Let's get back to... No, no, no. Not in storage. Sorry. Um, let's get over here. Uh, this is the portable record player. This is what I want to put down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to put this here maybe. No, no, no. Let me see. Portable record player. Uh, I got the kick, kickboard or the kick pedal there. I'm gonna put it right here by the window. How about that? And then when I come in the room, boom, straight ahead, straight access. Okay, what else we got in our pockets? We have tricycle. No, panic picnic basket. No, toilet. No, clothes closet. What does that look like? Actually, oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so we'll have a clothes closet in every room. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'll put that actually right here, and this that way I can access my wardrobe at any time in any room. This is so... Can I actually switch it? Let me see here. Let me see if I can... Oh, perfect. It covers up the radiator, and the plant can now go... Oh, you can't put it there. By the window, by the... The plant can go right here by the doorway okay <laughs> and that way I can access uh, the wardrobe at any time this is a typical um, linen type closet that we have in Japan here actually I've never seen this in the States um, but it's something that's very prevalent and very um, very prevalent <laughs> what else can I say prevalent it's uh, I see this a lot at the um, even the uh, home decor set home 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 Depot and also the decorations decoration stores you know like the Bed Bath & Beyonds of Japan um, you can buy this pretty cheap. It's like a, just a cheap pop-up store that you put out in a way to put your clothes away. Because there's not much space in Japan. The homes are really small. Anyways, that's your lesson for today. Um, let's get over here and let's register this KK song that I got. Okay. Here we go. KK Dirge. Let's confirm. Oh, confirm that. Press the plus. KK Dirge. Ooh, looks spooky. Let's hear that for a second. What, what's going on? What's going on? It just stopped. That's so creepy. And stopped. It's a Halloween record. So weird. Okay. But as we're here in this creepy Halloween-esque room, now we will check out the new DIY recipes. So I got this. Oh, this. Uh, what's this? This is the modern wood wall from our message in a bottle. So that's... Five wood, five softwood, five hardwood. I actually like the color of that. I would like to actually have that in this music room. That would be really nice. Hmm. But not now. Let's check out our Nook Miles Plus. What do we get? We got Island Togetherness. So one of the goals of Nook Incorporated is Resident Togetherness. Our gregarious greetings initiative initiative our gregarious greetings initiative aims to, to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. So we talked to 20 neighbors, so we got Nook Miles. Okay, next. Uh, milestone is 30. And the Nook Miles we got was 1,000. Uh, 1,000. Sweet. Title keywords, respected one. Respected one. <laughs> I can do a lot with that, I think, actually. Okay, next one is 30. Uh, let's check out our, oh, our daily doubles for today. Talk to neighbors. Get a fossil cess. Get fossils assessed. Oh, man. Uh, chop wood and catch bugs. Five. And catch a surgeon fish. A surgeon fish would be in the sea if I'm not mistaken okay is there anything else there is something else here let's jump why aren't you jump down here okay good things in store i'll reward you with miles based on the number of items you have in storage hmm aha using the convenience storage feature will make life on the island more pleasant get miles so yeah i have 
over 300 mi 300 miles 300 items in storage i have 350 I 315 items in storage so i got 5000 nook miles for that okay okay we definitely have to uh, upgrade our house to get a new room because I don't actually have storage because you know what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get three of every bug and every fish so that when um, I know that CJ Max makes like um, the taxidermy animal and I think what's its name the lizard guy I don't know its name makes uh, the taxidermy of bugs and I'm trying to put that all around my island or perhaps a room I don't know yet but anyways I digress. Let's move back to the game. Uh, t key title words are invulnerable life hacker. But wow, 5,000 nook miles. Okay, it's completed. Over 300 items in your uh, storage gives you 5,000 nook miles. Sweet. Okay, what else? Oh, we got more. It's raining treasure. No one knows who sends the gifts attached to balloons to our island, but you can earn miles by shooting them down and collecting what's inside. Okay, get miles. Ooh, 100. We got 102 out of 100. Okay, 2,000 more nook miles. Flying paradise is new. Key title, keyword, title keywords. <laughs> Man, sometimes I think I'm dyslexic. Seriously, I may be. Anyways, next milestone. Let's collect those. Wow, I'm 69. Okay, next milestone is 300 items collected from treasure or balloons popped, right? Okay, I think that's it. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's check out our new Critterpedia. These are some things that I donated last night. I actually went swimming and I caught this muscle. The availability is from June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So six months out of the year. No, wait, wait, wait. Eight months. It's seven, seven months out of the year. Uh, but available all day. Okay, I definitely got to catch one of these and give it a biff. Okay, definitely will. Um, this is the abalone. Uh, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So five months or seven months out of the wait, eight months out of the year. And but the availability is only from 4 p.m. until. 9 a.m. Okay, cool to know. Cool to know. So I actually can't get that right now. And actually, like where that red bar is, that tells you what time it is now about. So you can or can't um, access these kind of things. That's really cool to know. All right. We caught the, yeah, this mantis strip. This was an interesting bu or bug. This is an interesting uh, creature to learn about because um, it can actually slice your thumb off. Like it slices open shells and clams what uh, you know or sorry crabs crab shells and clam shells as well as it can slice off our thumb so it's a very lethal uh animal so if you come into contact with this don't freaking touch it seriously i don't know what part of it slices you but um with the top of the bottom there i have no idea but it is fast so um anyways it's available all year long but between the hours of 4 p.m until 9 a.m so we actually cannot catch it right now Huh. That is it for all the sea creatures, as well as the bugs and fish. So, we'll get out of there. Now, now, now. Up. What else we got here? We have the Gaia Bear shirt. I'm going to put that in storage. Um, the Pineapple Aloha shirts. I guess I'm going to put that in storage. This uniform, pilot uniform, put in storage. Um, Terry Claw Durag, goodbye, put you in storage. Um, clay, I will save you for later, so put you in storage. The uh, Common Blue Bottle, I'm trying to collect at least three of those. Oh, no, his storage is full. Are you kidding me? Dang it. So we got to upgrade our house just because we have too much in storage. Huh. All right. Well, the picnic basket and the tricycle we will put outside. But this toilet we can put in the bathroom. Maybe. Let's check it out. Let's go see. Let's go see. Uh -huh. I have So I have over 320 items now in my storage. Now how can I trim that down? I was thinking to actually put tools all around the island so i can just pick them up i just put them down and pick them up let's see the toilet what does the toilet look like place the item that that is what we needed okay so let's get in decoration mode and move this stuff around that's exactly what we needed because that bidet doesn't it looks like a toilet but it's not actually a toilet so can i actually move some of this stuff around if i move this here move this here and then move this toilet between the two that should work yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me put this thing over here on top. No, no, no. Um, where can I actually move this? Let me put this scale a little bit closer to that. And put this candle, this smelling candle right there. Okay, let me see how that looks. Yeah, that works. What is this song I'm listening to? And if you see this uh, little uh, ship in a bottle, that is from Red we got the other day. And as well as that artwork that's fake. Uh, damn it. I can't believe I missed that. I don't know. Uh, next time, but it's a learning lesson. Uh, I knew I would get miles for that as a fake one. 
So I wasn't so worried about it. So next time, I will definitely check Google um, to see if it's fake or not, what the real one actually looks like. So anyways, is there anything else in storage we can put down here? No, there is not. So let's get outside. Let's get out of here. Get outside. Put those things uh, outside. The picnic basket. Where can I put the picnic basket? Is it possible to put it on top of a table? If so, I'd like to put it at the um, new person's house. Or possibly, you know what? I want to put it at Chev's house. Because I like that log um, that log picnic table. Is it? Oh, it's raining. Interesting. It's not raining here in real life, but it is raining here in the game. Interesting. Did I just see the... No, I thought I saw the money spot. Okay. If I can put... I will... Hello, Long Locust. I will catch you. Indeed. I will take you. Yes, yes, yes. Caught you. Indeed, indeed. Okay, let's see if I can't put this picnic mask on top. Perfect! Okay, can I... Oh, my. Okay, well, I'll put it like that for now. Um, I don't know if I like that. Let me see if I can center it by going right here and doing it there. Okay. Place the item. No, 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 no. Grab this item. I want to grab the picnic basket. Is it possible to grab the picnic basket and turn it? Dang it. No. Ah. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, huh. All right. Well, I guess I will have to put it right here. I'll do it this way. Let's go in the center. Yes, it does. And let me pick this up and actually put it right here here instead. Let me push this, actually. Let me push this this way a little bit. Okay, flush with this, and I can still get by the trees. Yes, indeed. Oh, there's my first rock for the day. And place this bench back down here. Oh, I need to move back. Of course, of course, of course, of course. I thought so. This game is interesting about spacing. Okay, right here. And that should be as far as I can go. Okay, yeah. This this uh, this moth right now, Um, uh, Chev asked for it last night. This, uh, what is this called? This is the... Oh, gosh. This is the regular old moth. The butterfly moth or something like that. And she asked for it, but I was trying... She offered me a certain amount of bells. I think like 200 bells for it. 195 or something like that. And I was I refused it. And I thought that maybe I'd just give it to her. But instead, I couldn't give her anything else at all. I couldn't even donate it to her. So, um... And, but then I came up... I saw this... Um, what is this guy? This is the... This is this beautiful moth. I forget what it's called. But I thought I might offer this to Chev. Instead of this simple uh, moth right here. So, since she likes moths and bugs, I would thought I might give her the more extravagant one rather than this simple one. But maybe she's more into simple stuff. So, maybe I will actually give that to her. But anyways, <laughs> moving on. This tricycle. We will put this at the park area, actually. And I did not hit that rock, did you? No, you did not, Maru. How dare you? We already talked to Biff today. Because we're talking about the lost item. Look at him in his rain gear. He's so cute. Oh, what was that? I lost a cicada? I don't know. Tricycle. Let's put this one down. This one was a, a drabless colorless one. And the other one will be a very colorful one. Let's uh, turn it. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. Oh, wait, let me turn one more time to maybe this way. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. It looks like a circle or whatever. Or a square? Circle? Anyways. Ooh, there is a... What is that up there? That... No, that's not what I wanted. That is another bug. For sure. Oh, there's our next fossil right there. <gasps> Cicadas on the tree over there. Okay. We got a beetle here. Get him. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Miyama stag. Oh, yeah. I definitely want to make a um, taxidermy statue of the Miyama stag. So I need three of those, right? And here's Cicada. Get him. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I... Actually, because the cicada is only available in summer, I feel it's very rare. Um, so I want to collect those as much as possible. Here is our next fossil. Dig you up. Indeed, indeed. And I will lose a lot of storage space each time I pick up stuff. But anyways, that's okay. Hmm. Let's hit this rock right here, actually. If I put another thing right here and I turn around, I should be able to hit this rock. No. Nope. That's not what I want to do. Should be able to hit this rock, no problem. Okay, let me angle it. There we go. Is the money rock it? No, it's not the money rock. Crap! Why? Why, why, why would you do that? Dang it! Why? Game! Seriously, why? 
Okay, well, that's all we're going to get for that rock today. <sighs> Up there, I see a leaf. A, tr a tree bug? Tree leaf bug. Leaf bug. Let me catch it. Get him. What's it called? Walking leaf. I've yet to see a walking stick bug. Why is that? Is it only available certain times of day? Okay, what is this? This is miles four. Uh, bugs. I caught five bugs. Sweet. So, that's 300 more miles right there. Up to 69, 640. Okay. I need to catch a surgeon fish. Plant some trees. Uh, chop some wood. Get three fossils assessed and three fossils assessed and talk to three neighbors. I will eventually do that. Let me see. Is this fish a shark? It is not. Do I hear another balloon? No. At this moment, I only want to catch um, fish that are sh sharks. However, in the rain, it's supposed to be a higher probability to be a rare bug. And there is another cicada. Oh, gosh. Maru. Too soon. Okay, right now. Get him. All right. That is the same as the one before. That is the robust cicada. Not so energetic in the rain. Yeah, they can't really move around the rain, huh? Maybe I should focus on fishing, but I am not. I'm going to focus on the bugs for now. Oh, there's another cicada up there. Oh, my gosh. That's a pretty big fish right there. Dang it. Um, but I'm going to focus on the bugs for now. There's another rock, uh, a rock up on that hill there. So maybe I'll go ahead and hit that while I'm at it. Let's climb. Yeah, so one of the main things I want to do today is do the... Oh, what is that? Is that me on my stack? Oh, man, I get so distracted. Things just pop up all the time. You have plans in the game, but then things just pop up. Me on a stag. Okay, I think I have three now. Cool, 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 cool. But yeah, as I was saying, things just pop up. You have plans, but things just pop up in the game. So let me hit there and there and make sure I hit this rock this time. Because, okay, it's not the money rock. So even if I mess up, it's cool. But yeah, you have plans in the game and you expect what to do. But then things just pop up here and there. It's just, it's an ongoing process. So you really have to, like, manage it or control it very well in order to uh, achieve what you want but yeah my main thing today uh fish i'm sorry i'm gonna leave you alone my friend my main thing today is to uh commemorate the drone beetle i'm gonna not mess with you actually you know what i think i need one more drone beetle and just see if i can catch it check the distance oh i caught it all right cool 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 but yeah, one of the main things I want to do today is to commemorate the museum and the Able Sisters shop. So let's go do that right now. And excuse me, excuse me, Biff. And there is another cicada right here. My goodness. There's just a ton of cicada. And there's another one back there. Oh my gosh. A brown cicada. Do I even have enough inventory space for this? Yes, I do. Okay. That's a brown cicada. And this, what is this one? This one is a giant cicada. Get him. Got him. What is this one? This one is a giant skater. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, let me... <laughs> seriously. Let me focus here. And that is our new resident. Look at his house. He... Oh, she. It's a she. That's right. I was hoping actually it would be a she. Okay, it's got a yellow roof. Cool. And there's our spot for the day. Yellow roof. Uh, kind of light green uh, wood, wood paneling and little white... Um, how do you call that? white outline on the house and as well as a green door the, the door is very wide and yes i do see this um this money spot right here so we will go dig that up you know but yeah like i was trying to say <laughs> my main goal to there's another miyama stag up there oh my gosh dude okay get in my pockets let me put these away and divvy up ten thousand bells this time okay and i have to look at the hole let me bury this Indeed, indeed, indeed. Let me grab this Miyama Stag. Because I don't know how many I need. But I definitely got to catch as many as possible. This hat, this actually, this straw hat is actually pretty good, probably, to protect the rain. Get him. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> I promise, I'm going to get over there and I'm going to commemorate the museum in the Able Sisters shop. So let's go do that right now, unless something else pops up that I get distracted by. Uh, and this small fish, actually, I need to start going for more for small fish. So I'm going to actually try to fish this guy right here. See if I can do it. Okay, here we go. What is this guy going to be? This is a killer fish. A pale chub. Okay. We'll keep that pale chub. Because I definitely need another one of those. The small silhouettes. We definitely need. But before I go over here and commemorate the uh, museum and the Able Sisters shop, I'm going to go say hi to this person right here. 
And I was actually hoping it would be another girl because we have me, Biff, and we have, uh, what's the Mount Duck's name? Uh, Drake. So, oh, look at this. Look at this. Nibbles is a green squirrel. Interesting. And she's wearing a watermelon, a watermelon dress. One piece. <laughs> Let's see your face. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Hi, I just moved here. My name's Nibbles. You're Maru, right? Hey, I'm deep in the middle of unpacking, but when I'm done, you should totes come over. She's kind of like, um, diva, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're gonna freak out about how adorbs my place is one. My place is once it's fully finished, niblet. Oh, she says niblet, and she says, oh my gosh, and adorbs. Wow, she's got a lot of catchphrases. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Let me talk to her again. It's still morning. I still have time. But whenever I say that, things end up taking an eternity. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, Nibbles, because I plan to do something and it doesn't actually go follow through exactly as planned a lot of times. I'm going to actually finish unpacking and cleaning up today. I mean it this time. <laughs> Good for you. I'm so planning to finish cleaning up my house today because I want to hang out all day tomorrow. Okay, cool. We'll see you out and about tomorrow. I actually like the uh, decor of her house. Um, I don't like the wallpapering so much. The flower flower wallpapering. Look at her eyes. Wow. And her teeth. So cute. And the little stripes of hair. <laughs> so cool. So cool. I love the color. I love how colorful she is. Um, but back to the house in, de in itself. The flower wall flavoring, I don't really enjoy so much. But I actually like this flooring. I hope she gives me a DIY recipe for this. Because this is kind of that antique style wood. Kind of a little bit painted. I like it. I like it. I like it. She's so cute. She has three. Actually, she has freckles. Three freckles on each cheek. That's so cool. Okay. And we've got to, you know, while we're at it, let's go say hi to Drake. See what he's up to. Because this guy, this guy's never out and about. He is kind of a hikikokomori. Do you know? Uh, so in Japan, there's this thing called a hikikokomori, and they just stay in their house all day. Ooh, and he is making DI recipe, so let's check it out. So yeah, they're like loners, and they stay in their house. Now, that's a very extreme thing, but um, uh, it's a definitely a phenomenon that you guys should check out called hikikokomori. Okay, check it out. <laughs> it's on a loner on another level. Okay, but anyways, maybe he's that. On a, on a, he's a slight I just saw that owl on his shelving. That's so cool. I like that. Hey, sorry about the mess, but I ain't gonna. I ain't got time to clean today. What are you doing? I'm. I'm making a, a deer decoration. One of the bugs in the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. So I gotta. I gotta build it before I forget what it is. Check it out. Plans for deer decorations. I can teach you if you want. Yeah, teach me. Leave it to me. I got it all scribbled down here. Just so just read it. Read this. <laughs> His voice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. If I can make it, then I bet you can do it. No time, squacko. <laughs> all right. I talked to three residents, so that'll give me Nick Miles today. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed by his voice, but, you know, I'm going to go for the whole Daffy Duck kind of um, geeky vibe him so that's uh 400 nook miles for that just for talking to three residents awesome 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 what we get now we got uh redeemed nook miles which we definitely do when we go talk to tom nook before we do our commemoration ceremony and let's see it's not a new dr recipe huh he gave us what is it what is it he he didn't give us a new one huh let's check it out in our inventory what is this this is the deer decoration so we already know this no we don't know this oh we gotta learn it okay okay <laughs> Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for deer decoration. So I didn't... I, you, Maru, you have to learn it first, and then you can get in there and you can check it on the DIY. So let's see. Deer decoration. Looks like that. Okay, it's wood. Soft wood. Eight soft wood. I like it. Looks pretty cool. Better than the actual, you know, those actual animals that um, in real life get killed and get put into taxidermy. But <laughs> here and I say that, and I realize that I actually want to... <laughs> I want a model of all the fish and all the bugs in the game and doing the same thing. But you know what? It's just the game. It's not in real life. I don't want to do that in real life. But in the game, I'll do it. <laughs> Actually, I'm noticing that his room is so dark. His flooring is so dark. His wallpaper is so dark. Everything is just dark in this room. But I guess that highlights to make his these lighter wood pieces, these logwood pieces, like pop. Huh? Hmm. You taking a break there, Drake? <laughs> Look at his sweater. His sweater is blue and red. Very interesting. His eyes kind of creep me out, but he is an uh, interesting character. I like the uh, 
the style of duck that he is, actually. The color of the duck that he is. Anyways, let's move on. So we are heading to... Hit a rock. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to hit this rock right here while we're at it. See if we can get that money rock. No, that's not the one you want to do, Maru. No, no, no. This one and this one is... Oh, no, no, no. This one over here. That's the one you want to do. Okay. Please, please, please. Money rock? Are you the money rock? No, you're not the money rock today. But you will yield us a good amount, a fair amount of rocks and some iron and a gold piece. Oh, no gold. Dang it. All right, all right. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, well, well. What can we do? There's another rock over here. Let's see if we can't hit this one. Okay, if I just bit, dig a hole right there, this tree is perfectly in the way. Oh, money rock! Yes! Indeed, indeed, indeed. Let's get all of it. All of it. All of it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. I love the Mario sounds. All right, all right. I am going to... Let's see how much bells I got. I have 68,000 bells. So, you know, I'm going to leave that to pick it up later. But you guys saw here and just here that I hit the money rock. In the money. Oh, and we got a money tree now. Okay, so we're going to shake that down. Take out these 10,000 bells, or 30,000 bells total right now. And let's see, let's see. I want to get over here. Ooh, there's another Miyama stack. Is that a Miyama stack? Is it a Miyama stack, or is that a different one? Miyama beetle. Miyama stack, get it. Miyama, Miyama. I got a sauce. A sauce tag. Okay, I think I need more of those, but I can't carry anything else. Oh, I can't carry more stuff. All right, for now. Ooh, there's another rock. Oh, and there's another Miyama stag. Dang it. That's another Miyama stag, isn't it? It's got to be. Let me catch him. Get him. Got him. But do I have enough inventory space, actually? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't have any more inventory space. Okay, swap it for... What am I going to swap it for? Do I have actually... Oh, stone. Okay, thank God. Thank God I have a stone to swap it for. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Did I actually... I read my mouse. Okay, good. Let me hit this rock just to see if there's any gold okay you guys can see that oh my gosh no right there and right there well at least uh, we'll know we won't go anywhere else but let me see if we hit a gold right here by hitting this rock and then i'll move on come on come on come on nothing 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 all right all right so let's head over and do this ceremony look at you diva you're so cute Let's do this ceremony with Tom Nook and all the residents. Before we do that, let's check the missing parts or the, what is that? The missing bin box or whatever. What do you call this? The lost and found bin. Oh, nothing in here. Let's check in here for today because he said tomorrow we we're not going to be able to access this. Right? The store. So once per day and that'll be three days in a row. 100 plus bonus miles. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. Redeem Nook miles. So let's see about that. Barbed wire fence. Rid Imperial fence. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so these are the new fences that I actually want to set up today around my house. But I don't want a barbed wire fence necessarily or an Imperial fence. Um, I also want to put a fence around the park as well. But neither of these will actually do. So I am not going to purchase those. Is there anything new here in the catalog? No, 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 no. I'm so glad I bought that wetsuit, though. Okay, what else is here? Nook Mouse ticket and this and this. Oh, no. That's it. All right, let's get out of here. And let's check into the Nook Shopping. What do we got here? All right, what's new here? Hand car. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Outdoor table. Now, this is definitely a typical thing that we set up here. It does not, guys, it's not a beer pong table, okay? It's not for that. It's not a... <laughs> I know this is what it looks like, but that's not what it's meant for. This is meant to be like a table that uh, when there's like an outdoor party or a sakura viewing, a cherry blossom viewing here in Japan, they set this kind of table out to put all like the um, the barbecue type goods and the casserole dishes and the, the chips and whatnot on top of, okay? It's not a beer pong table. I'm serious. That outdoor hat is a very nice color. Would go really well with Diva, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe yellow is the opposite spectrum, so it would look better. Anyway, Sporty Shades. Mmm, bear tea. Oh, cute, cute. Sorry, Tank, we've seen that before. Start, sporty Skirt, Slip on Loafers. Ooh, white. Like it, like it, like it. Leaf Print Wetsuit. Ooh, that's cool. Maybe I should buy that for um, Kina. KK Song. We definitely do not have that, so I'm going to buy that right now. Okay. Is there anything? Bamboo Grass. I really like this. So I'm just going to buy one of these every day, I think. Huh. And just collect them. 
Um, this leaf print wetsuit. Let me send this as a gift to Kina, actually. Because that is so cute. Indeed, indeed. Um... What is a cute postcard? Uh, no, 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 no. Let's go with one of these seasonal ones. Oh, wait, wait. Ocean one. Oh, that's graduation. I thought it was ocean. Is there an ocean one? Let's go with an ocean-themed one. Let's go for this one right here. All right, all right. I want to erase all of this. I wish there was a, a different way to erase all this, but it's not. Hmm. I just got to slowly erase it all. That's something that I wish they would fix in the game, actually. Maybe is there a way to highlight it and then get rid of it. But maybe there's an accessory for that. I just have the raise the regular Joy Cons um, that come with the system. So I don't know. Maybe you guys have something different uh, in order to completely erase this. So I want to say um, I want to say no, 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 no. Erase that. Erase that. I just simply want to say enjoy swimming. Enjoy swimming. That's what I will say. Enjoy swimming! S W I double M. Oh no, not KK. Double KK. <laughs> Maybe on some subliminal level, I'm thinking of KK slider. Enjoy no, what's that? Get over here. G. Enjoy swimming! And I will do one, two, three. That's my signature. All right. Confirm that. All right. Print it. And let's do it. Yep. 3,000 bells. Send it her way. All righty, all righty, all right. Sent was to, this item was sent to Kina. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anything else that I want? I want to buy this hand cart, actually. Let me buy that. Okay. And this outdoor table, I will go ahead and purchase that as well. Okay, and I think that's all I want to buy for today. Because I don't have much inventory space, which I need to upgrade my house just for inventory space. I don't really want another room, but I just want more inventory space for... <laughs> Or my house. Okay, so let's see if I can do that. Uh, ABD. Um, oh, 377,000. Uh, no, 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 no. Deposit. So let's deposit. How much can we deposit? Let me deposit because I want to look at the Able Sisters and I want to look at um, what they have in stock over at Nook's Cranny. So let me deposit 65,280. 65,280. Confirm. All right, that's up to 442, so we only need 100,000, 106,000 more. Okay. And I have 20,000 bells to spend. And I also have those bells to pick up that I did not pick up yet from hitting that money rock. But anyways, I get out of here, and let's go talk to Tom Nook and do these commemoration ceremonies. That was the first thing I wanted to do, and I didn't get to it until now, until 40 minutes in the video. Jeez, and rice. Ah, Maru, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Uh, let's hold a ceremony. Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony, Maru? Yeah, I do. We're celebrating so many different things right now. Truly, this is a wonderful island moment. What ceremony do you want to take part in? Uh, for the museum. That's first. Splendid. Let's get started. Let's do it indeed. And it's fitting that I'm wearing this shop uniform in order to do this. Look at their... Uh, wow, that's so cool. Look at their umbrellas. Blathers has a camo one. And Tom Nook has a leaf one. That's so cool. Oh, and look at all the villagers. They're all here. They're all here. Nibbles is here, Biff's here, um, Diva's here, Chef's here, and Drake's even here. I like all their rain attire. They're not, they don't have any um, umbrellas just like me, actually. They're just wearing hats and raincoats. Cool. Now then, I'd like to begin our special ceremony celebrating the grand opening of our fancy new museum. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Pachi, 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 pachi. Thank you. As I'm sure you've all noticed, Iwo Jima has gone through marvelous, wondrous changes. It's all thanks to the fine residents of this island who work together daily. Yes, yes, you have my thanks. I'd like to ask Blathers to say a few words as the representative from our newly remodeled museum. It is looking good, Buzz. I like that roof color, actually. Blathers, if you would, just um, a word or two. <laughs> Hoot, indeed. I shall keep this brief. Ahem. Dearest residents of Iwo Jima, it is an honor and a pleasure to take this moment to thank you for your continued support of the museum. It must be said, I have recently donated. I have had. I have received donations at a faster pace than I have ever imagined it possible. Possible. <laughs> Stunning, humbling, at times overwhelming. Your gifts of fossils, fish, and bugs have not only made our museum and a cultural marvel. They have made my spirit soar. Who do who? This is true. And now we have opened a new addition, one I have dreamt of since I was but an owlet. Yes, a proper art gallery, one in which we shall display a proper art. Paintings, statues, proper art. 
<laughs> By Jove, my cultural and curatorial dreams have come true. Hoot hoot and hooray! I beg your pardon. My enthusiasm has me running at the peak once again. To the point, then, as we celebrate this new wing of the museum, I feel I must entreat you. Please continue to donate your acquisitions. I ask not just for your betterment of the museum, but for the betterment of us all. Who and thank you. <laughs> blathers. Blathers, blathers, blathers. Er, yes. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> thank you, blathers, for those many, many, many words of wisdom. <laughs> Next, a few words from someone whose valuable contribu contributions made this remodel, remodel possible. He's going to limit me to a few words. Man, I wish I could say more. Of course, I mean Maru, our resident representative. Hmm, Maru. Anything to add? All right, let's see. Good for us. We're amazing. Woo! You know what? Let's say good for us. Yeah, I'll do the most maximum words possible. Good for us. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Maru. Everyone. Please get ready to join me in this ceremony to a close. To bringing me, the, bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should press the square circle button. I don't know what you call that, actually. All right, let's do it. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Iwo Jima's beautiful museum. Hooray! Got it. I don't know how many I took, but awesome, awesome. awesome. Everybody's clapping, everyone's enjoy. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Awesome. I love how everybody's here, actually. This is so cool. So, so, so cool. I didn't actually think that everybody would show up for this ceremony. Cool, cool, cool. Now that is awesome. Hmm. Okay, well, we got one more ceremony to, to do today, which is the <laughs> ceremony to commemorate the opening of Mabel's or the Abel Sisters Shop. So let's do that right now. Look at him sipping his beer. <laughs> Tom. Ah, Maru, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Um, what should I do? Let's do that. Before we do that, what should I do? Yes, yes. That is the question. We've done everything to get homes ready for new residents, so nothing springs to mind right now. If you have the time, I'd be honored if you join our celebration ceremony. Okay, well, that's what we're going to do then. What would you like talking about? Yes, we're going to talk about the ceremony, which you just... And then I need to talk about my home, because I need to upgrade. Oh, you want to take... But I can't. I can't talk to him about the home until... I uh, get all the money in the bank. <laughs> so that may be mo two more episodes. Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony, Maru? Right now, we'd like to celebrate the grand opening of our tailor shop. Interested? I sure am. Let's do it. Splendid. Let's get started. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to stand in front of the Mabel si or the Able Sisters shop. I keep wanting to call it the Mabel Sisters shop. Okay, here we are. Um, We have Chev on the right, then Diva, then I forget her name, actually, because she's so quiet. And then Tom Nook, and then Mabel, and then me, and then Biff. Biff is covered by the tree. <laughs> Look at their... Oh, they have, like, cute matching um, Mabel and her sister. They have cute matching umbrellas. The green uh, checkered one, checked one, and the purple checked one. And actually, now, she is quite cute looking at uh, the sister that I don't know her name. There's a little bit different design in the hair with the two little things and also the five um, freckles on above her nose. And Mabel has none of that. She has just one little like boom spike in the, of hair in the center and no freckles. Huh, interesting. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Iwo Jima's brand new tailors. Pachi, 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 pachi. Clap, clap, clap. Indeed, indeed. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Iwo Jima is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. At this time, we'll have some brief comments from Mabel and Sable, who will be running the tailor shop. Ladies, if you would be so kind. Thanks to everyone, we've been able to open such a lovely shop here. I'll work hard with my sister Sable, that's her name, to make a nice place for you all to visit. So be sure to stop by. Sable. Yes, please, please stop by. <laughs> She's so shy. I like her. Mabel Sable, thank you both so much. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions so that the tailor shop could be built. Take it away, Maru, our resident representative. Anything to add? We're amazing! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, so get time for let's get ready for the picture. Time to get ready for the picture. Let's do it. Yes, yes. Everyone! Please get ready to join me and bring the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to commemorate a photo should get ready to press 
the button. Okay, I'll press it now and press now. Wes! Yes, well then, I'm taking another one. Okay, with hope for our continued growth and to celebrate EOGM's beautiful tailors. Hooray! Hooray! Right, 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 right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! I got so many pictures right there. <laughs> I feel like a true photographer. Thank you all! This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care of on your way home. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, yeah. I think what we will do next is we will go on into the stores and check out what there is for today. Then I will head over to my house and see what I can change up about it. I actually want to move around the, um, the, f the mailbox. And I want to see about fencing and different color roof. So, before we do that, let's see what we can do here. Um, actually, do I have enough storage space in my... I do not. Let me go drop some things. So probably that's Chev's lost item. Now, where was Chev? Is she in her house? Let's actually go see. Before that, let me drop off these fossils here at um, Blathers. Okay, drop that and drop that. And yeah, if you notice here, guys, I put these fossils right here. I like this ammonite and this um, this little guy here. I forget what it, what it is, but I just like having fossils on the outside of the museum. And maybe instead of having these big ones, I'll keep these small ones here on the side. See this big one right here? But I actually like the mammoth skull. It's so cool. But maybe I'll just keep these small ones on the outside rather than these big ones. But anyways, Diva, see you later. Chev is in her house, so if she's there, I can get rid of this item in my inventory. And I can um, give maybe get something from her. So that's two birds with one stone. Oh, I can talk to her for the day. Look at her house. That is so nice. I have not seen her house since she moved in. This kitchen thing is so nice and then there's a little air over here to sit down and then she got a changing area and a bed and bookshelf and then these these this uh drawer chest of drawers right here man this is inspiring i like her room you're more than welcome to to wait out the rain here laba you lose this oh can you show me it's right here this lost item here is this your purse what is this i searched everywhere for this bag Thanks so much. Can I give you a gift to show you my appreciation? Yes, you can. You didn't have to, but a cycling shirt. It's all yours if you want it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. You know what? I'll, I'll put... Let me give some joy for that. Joy. Thank you. Oh, she's not even going to respond. Come on, girl. Delight. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Actually, how do I um, remove a register? Let me... Remove or register this shocked one. Let me remove that. Because I got a new one, right? Register. And I just keep clapping. <laughs> I have this um, sneezing. Eee, I don't want to actually replace that, actually. So right now we have apologetic. Let me leave that for now. We have shocked, shock, surprise, apologetic. Um, sneezing. Uh, let me just keep apologetic then. <laughs> That's the only new. Oh, okay. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Apologize is kind of a bow. That's cool. Let's see the. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let me put this cycling shirt on because I don't actually enjoy this apron anymore. Ooh, I like that. I like this. Very colorful. I will take it. But you know what? Since it was given to us by Diva, I will put that on the wall on display next to the presents that Biff gave us. So I will drop that off near the house and have to put that in storage later on. Let me just set it right here. Drop the item because then I can walk by it, right? All right, let's do that, and let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, can I get rid of these bugs somewhere? Um, let me put it right here, actually, all these guys, because I will put them in storage. Uh, sorry, guys. Skip ahead of the video. If you don't want to see this, I'm just going to place all these guys down by the beach. Oh, and there's that, uh, there's that guy right there. What's his name? Harv, right? Harvey! Hey, yeah. Hey, you live on this island? Thought so. I'm from, like, the next island over. My name's Harvey. Ha. Glad to meet you, friend. You can call me Harv if you haunt. Wonder why no one ever does that. Oh, it's very, it's vey part. It's the vey part. Just, just fun to say. Sorry, uh, got a bit sidetracked there. I came here for a reason, man. Uh, give me a minute and I'll remember why. Got it! Uh, uh, I keep hearing about this island I, and how much folks dig the scene here, man. So I thought I'd check it out. I'm going to start this far-out artist collective, and I'm looking for ideas. Oh, 
So what's the deal? I heard like this place was deserted, like literally, literally a deserted island. You the honcho that put this place at the head of the class? Wait, this old noodle just had a casserole of an idea. You should visit my island. <laughs> I like that casserole of an idea. It just just hit the airport and tell them uh, you want to go to Harv's Island. That's the name of my pad. Groovy, right? Anyway, nice John with you. I'm uh, gonna stroll around and see what makes you a gym tick. Cool. So we uh, can go to his island. I think you could take pictures there, right? If I'm not mistaken. Anyways, let me put down these um, these bugs. So skip ahead, like I said, I was saying. Skip ahead the video if you don't want to see this. Uh, let's put on a couple more. Uh, maybe that's going to get real tasking. So let me just do a couple more. Just enough to open up my... Um, no. Let's put down this. Place this item. Just enough to open up my inventory so that I can... Oh, those cicadas are loud. Just enough to open up my inventory so I can buy stuff from the stores. Yeah, that's what I'll go ahead and do. Uh, let's get back over to the stores. And see what we can buy. So let's first go to Nook's Cranny. Check this out. Let's see what they have. Anything new? We got a hamster wheel. Oh, there's actually a little hamster in there. That's so cool. And a water cooler. Oh, and a little plant. I like that little plant. Seems like you're interested in a hamster cage. I am. That's 870 bells. What do you think? Yeah, I'll buy it. I want a hamster. I want a little pet hamster. Excellent. Purchase. Purchase. Yes, thank you for the 870 bells. Yes, definitely going to buy that. Definitely going to buy this. Seems like you're interested in some cat grass. Yes, for my cat. I need something for my cat. Let's see. That's 570 bells. What do you think? I'll buy it. Is this catnip? Excellent purchase. Purchase. Is this catnip free? Seriously. Yes, thank you for the 570 bells. Seriously, is that catnip? I think it is. Cat grass. Maybe I can put that on the wall somewhere. Um, seems like you're interested in bathroom towel rack. Do I have this, actually? I might have this, but just in case, I'm going to buy it again. I think I may have it, but you know what? I'm gonna buy it. Buy it, buy it, buy it. Indeed, indeed. All right, this water cooler. I definitely water cooler server. Seems like you're interested in a water cooler. Yeah. Let's see. That's three hundred thousand four hundred bells. What do you think? I will buy this and I'll put this in the music room. That will go perfect because when you're getting to playing music, you gotta stay hydrated, right? Because you forget. Excellent purchase, purchase. So I'll put that in that room. Yes, thank you for the three thousand four hundred bells. And is there anything new in here? Huh. Probably new wallpaper. Ooh, interesting pattern vinyl umbrella. Oh, it's like a clear see-through one that's very um, stylish. Uh, I like that. <laughs> so I cannot resist. I'm going to buy it. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. Oh, man, oh, man, man. I have no use for umbrellas, actually. But I just like collecting things. Let's see. Are there any new flowers? Red Cosmos, Red Lily, White Pansy, Yellow Pansy, yet Yellow Lily, Yellow Cosmos. And this is Cedar Sapling. Brown wrapping paper, sapling, uh, all these new skills. Test your DIY skills. I think I have that already. Flimsy watering can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got all that. You know, but I think I got to buy that for Kina eventually. Let's check over here. The new, ooh, blue camel. Ugh, don't like it. It'd be interesting on someone else's, but not mine. What's this? Botanical towel. Oh, that'd be great for a garden, huh? Or maybe in my museum for the future. Um, lattice wall. Hmm, that might also be good for a garden, too. A brown diner wall. Okay, so like in a diner. That's cool. I like that. Um, Argyle tile flooring. Very interesting design. Orange retro flooring. Cool. Light wood pattern flooring. Dark wood pattern flooring. Huh. For the music room, I think I want to go with either this one or this one. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. And maybe this one. No. No. This will go in a garden room. So I have to, I have to buy this. Yeah. That's 1240 bells. Yes, I'll buy it. And I'm going to go for one of these floorings here. Um, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, let me go for this one, the orange retro flooring. Yes, 1540 bells. I'll take it. And that leaves me about, yeah, over 10,000 bells. So I can go purchase some clothes from the Able Sisters shop. That's all. That's all. That's all. Leave that there for now. I'm not so interested in the flowers. Eventually, I will get to getting a lot of flowers, I think. But now, I think I have as much as I need. I wonder if I have any more inventory space, actually. <laughs> Come to think of it. Do I have any more inventory space? I do, for two more items. Okay, okay. Well, just in case, let me throw down uh, these two cicadas here. And I will come back and get them later or sell them. So, <laughs> they had to do that, huh? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get in here to the Able Sisters and see what they got. There's a new dress in the, in the window, I noticed. So, that's cool. 
So there's definitely, oh, there's something that looks like a baby bonnet. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovely by Claw. All right, this is some baby thing. What is this? A baby's hat. Yeah, it is. The baby bonnet. That's one cost 560 bells. Do you want to buy it? Um, no, I think I'll pass. These interesting glasses here. These sunglasses that have no meaning whatsoever. Um, interesting, interesting. What is this? Is this a gymnast suit? What is this? A wrestling singlet. Ah, oh, that would go perfect for my wrestling area. For the sports area. Oh, man. 540 bells. I may purchase that in a different color and give that to Biff. Because he, <laughs> he's a, he would seem like a, a wrestling type. He's into the fitness, right? So that'd be interesting to see that on him. Now I'll pass for now. Because I may there may be another color. Uh, red and red. Imagine that on Biff. Red and red. Huh. Now this sweatshirt is a purple color. Might be good on Diva. Hmm. Actually, there's nothing new here. I don't think. Yeah. The, maybe this this flower, uh, red flower one is interesting. Is different. Or maybe this red diamond one is different. Well, I'm, well, I'm over here. Let me talk to Sable. You're gonna talk to me. Uh, sorry, I kinda have to focus on this so I don't. Heck yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, hey, sorry about that. When Sable's really focused, she gets a little, you know, prickly. <laughs> Let me talk to her again. Four times. No, no talking, only zoning. One more time. Oh, whoops. I'm happy to help you with whatever you need. Just step away from the seamstress. One more time. Hey, hey, Mabes, could you keep help this customer, please? Please? Okay, so I will talk to her every time until she does that. Because eventually she will talk to us. Okay, there's nothing new on the mannequins. Let's get in the uh, wardrobe here. What's this called? Closet. Oh, you need the fitting room. Let's get in the fitting room here. Go right ahead. Let's get in the fitting room and see what is different about that wrestling singlet and anything else. <gasps> Cavalier shirt. That's so cool. We can get the four musketeers. Hmm. I will have to pass on that for now, but that is a really cool costume. Hmm, I'll have to think on that. Uh, Chimayo vest. Uh, like a Mexican inspired or maybe um, Nicaraguan inspired or something like that. Huh. Sweatshirt. Different color sweatshirt. I actually like the sweatshirt. Let me see what it looks like. Hmm. Interesting. I actually like the sweatshirt, but um, I'm not a fan of the color. Tank. Okay, let's check out the tank. Pink? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, brown might be good. That's cool. Okay, white jeans. White denim pants. Okay, we saw these before. Formal shorts with the green. <laughs> Doesn't work out. Long denim skirt. Okay. Oh, we got surfing shorts. Cool, cool. Pink. Pink. I'm feeling these green ones or these blue ones, though. But pink might be cool. Oh, this is the figure skating dress. Interesting. Figure skating. That's the one we saw on the outside, actually. Figure skating dress. Wrestling singlet. So there's red, there's green, and there's blue. Maybe blue would look really good on Biff. Or green would look good on the red. Green and red or blue and red. But they're all primary colors. So RGB. Red, green, blue. So maybe red and red. Hmm. Here's a beret. I'm not so interested in that. But here's a dandy hat. We've seen that before. Sailor's hat. Here's the baby bonnet. <laughs> if you're going to go for it, you might as well go for it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, baby blue. Oh, okay, okay. Kind of a... What's this? What's this? Baby's hat. Like a grayish color. If you're going to go for it, I would say like this light blue one or this green or yellow one. Yellow is a typical one. A very gender neutral color. Um, let me see these ladder shades, which have no meaning, but interesting to see my eyes. Oopsie. Let's go back here. I'm interested in the... Actually, the blue and the yellow bottom would be good. Yellow, though? Yellow's pretty cool. Blue, though. Huh, I may end up purchasing that. Okay, rim glasses. We've seen these before. Excuse me. Seen these before. Embroidered flower tights. Huh. Vivid tights. Oh, these are new, huh? Vivid tights. Oh, that would go great with the single there. <laughs> um, Purple. Can I go purple? There's moccasins. Ribbon sandals. These are very popular amongst women, I see here. Ribbon sandals, the Winkle Pickers. Oh, my. These are the shoes that I cannot get behind in Japan. Um, these pointy, pointy-ass toed shoes. Pointy-toed shoes that I just cannot get behind. Uh, you know what, though? They're so extravagant and outlandish. I'm going to buy um, one of these pairs, actually. Um, but let's think about what we're going to buy. We're not going to wear this out of the, re out of the shop. but um, Okay, so I'm going to buy this glass. I'm going to buy that baby bonnet. I'm going to buy these... Um, can I buy the serving shorts and this dress? No, I can't. So I'm going to buy the singlet for Biff. I'm going to buy him a green one because it seems like he's green. That's what's coming to my mind. 
And I'm going to buy some of these tights, maybe? These vivid tights. I'm going to buy hmm, green ones. That can actually go with Biff if, if uh, I donate to him. And the Winkle Pickers. I will go with um, these. What would serve my outfit choices? Um, these blue ones. Because we have that captain's uniform. And that uh, what's the uniform that's very blue-ish. And I think blue would be the best one. Or would white be more... No, blue would be the one. Blue, blue would be the one. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's purchase all these things. Yes, please. We will not wear these out of the store. No, no, no. We will not. We will donate some of these things or give these away to Biff as presents. We got to figure out what to give to Drake and to Chev and to who's our new resident? What's her name? Uh, Nibbles as well. All done. Caught your eye? Yes. Indeed, indeed. All right, let's get on out of here. Thank you very much. See you later. All right. And this episode has gone on, I think, long enough. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to stop it right there. And we'll have to next time get into this fencing thing and change up our house, the decorations of our house, just a bit. All right. Ooh, there's some snails right there. I will go catch those guys. But in the meantime, um, as always, thank you for stopping by. And take care. We will see you in the next episode, number 26. See you guys. Bye-bye.